We have a critical situation in terms of the economy in this country being hinged on a lot of business with China and the Trump administration at the forefront of launching tariffs and other laws and things that have been put into place to try to go against Chinese businesses. And of course, he has said that they have stolen intellectual property rights from America for decades, which they have. Whether you like Trump or not, that is the truth. They have done this here on this world stage. But all along, our countries have been feeding off of one another. There's no doubt about it that we take in a massive amount of electronic goods and in other areas all coming from China. And we have benefited from that for a long time. I mean, most of you know, flip something over anywhere and it's say made in China. And this is why so many people push to, to have made in America on everything and have American made stuff pushed to the forefront. What we've seen, though, is the selling out of a lot of things to China in this country, even our debt. So as they're buying up farms and all of our debt and all this other stuff, they have also been consuming massive amounts of food, which has been produced by our farmers here in this country. So these tariffs have started to take a hit. Now, when you look at this, some of these unintended consequences of Trump's steel tariffs, there was a cascading effect like dominoes. Okay. Illinois farmers put the brakes on a $71,000 grain mill. They had to hold off there because the seller had raised the price 5% just to account for the rising price of the steel. Now, on the flip side of that, they're saying that Chinese importers have canceled purchases of corn and cut orders for pork while dramatically reducing new soybean purchases. Chinese importers and their new orders of sorghum, a grain that is used to make animal feed, have dwindled while the cancellations have increased. They say, and I said this on the last live feed, as summer persists, if nothing has been resolved, this will start to rear its head as a pretty big hole in U.S. exports. This is what came to mind the other night, and now they're saying just that. This is the direction that it's heading. And for those that don't know, where is this all heading? Well, they're switching up, and they're going to South America. They're buying their beans and other stuff from South American farmers, and they're looking at Brazil like, hmm, this is a massive area that could really explode in terms of cheap agriculture. And they're saying that even though you know, despite the fact that U.S. soybeans are around $15 a ton cheaper than the beans from Brazil, they're saying that a 25% tariff would cost Chinese importers around $100 a ton. So it's going to be overall cheaper to be going through Brazil. And if they can start buying bulk through them, this is just going to embolden the relationship between Brazil and and they're going to start backing their contracts with golden oil, just like they've already announced. This is part of the shift that is happening. And when that happens, you can start to see prices rise in all types of sectors. As gas slowly creeps up, the cost of all these other things will slowly rise. In the middle of the scorching summer, everything's going to start to hit its max. And people are going to start to feel the pain of what has happened here. Because of these tariffs. Now, I think this is going to continue. It may die down a little bit in terms of the news headlines. But once the damage is done, it's done. Once they say that these things are being imposed, they're imposed. They don't have to say it again the next day or the next day. These things are in effect. And we have to watch as the days and weeks go by, rolling into months, how this is affecting our economy. I'll continue to update on this, and I'm going to leave a link below pertaining to this. More information here. It's been Dabu7. Peace.